Shakhtar Donetsk have confirmed the league. In second place is all ours and that leaves only one more thing to play for. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Ukrainian Cup final. Hello and welcome to episode 8 of the Kings of Kiev. I'm Ben and coming up on today's episode it is the Ukrainian Cup final against Zoya. As I mentioned in the intro we have already secured second place in the league and Shakhtar Donetsk are top of the league hence it will only be a one game episode. But if you do enjoy the one game episode and the Ukrainian Cup final then please do leave a like down below for me. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager content and make sure those notification bells are turned on so you know when new episodes of this series are dropping. And if you do want to see more of me, we do stream over on twitch.tv forward slash Benny D underscore FM. Currently doing a save with Dulwich Hamlet that did start over on YouTube and it'd be awesome to see a few of you there. But without further ado, you can see behind me how things have been going since the last episode and I mean... We just win. We just win now. It's, it, we found a tactic, I think, that, that clicks. We're now 10 games, I think it is, unbeaten going into this final. It all means that, as I say, we are second in the league. We've ended up on 61 points. Um, the loss count is the frustration. If you look at this, we've drawn less games than Shakhtar. We've only won one less, but... It's the fact we've had four draws, which has meant that Shakhtar have won the league. We're securing the Champions League, though, and today's opponent, Zoya, are in third. So it is a tougher opponent from the league, but hopefully we can get the better of them. And the team that we're looking to do that with is this one. It's Luan Poli in goal, a back four of Guadara, Popov, Takax and Berda. Zidorshuk plays in behind Shepelev and Dugarte in the midfield, with Zakankov on the right, Verbic on the left and Artem Besedin up front. Michaelenko has picked up an injury as has uh, Shapalenko in the middle of the field. So two big names from the run are missing. Hence why Berda has switched over to the left hand side and Takax has come into that um, central defensive role. But I still think it's a team that's good enough of winning this cup. Um, the run's been ridiculous. We've been pretty good, haven't we, in the Cup so far. We had that one game, the first game I think it was in the Cup against Clemen, that we couldn't quite get the better of them until penalties. But apart from that, we've looked like the worthy winners of this Cup. Zoya obviously knocking out Shakhtar, hence why we play them instead of them today. And can we get one over on them? We will find out. But there is an early highlight. And it's Rafati to Kuchergin for them. And Gromov, who looks for a ball out to Vitao and finds him. They're building quite nicely here, Zoya. But can we nab the ball off them and counter ourselves? Berda steps in and does really well. And this could be that chance. Verbic looks for Besedin. It's a rubbish pass. But we're going to build from the back again, I imagine, with Zagankov. Going on one of his little mazy runs down the right-hand side. Besedin could have shot there, but he'd come to Guadara instead. Agate back to Zakankov. Guadara crosses the ball in. Verbic at the back post. It looked like he did the splits. I mean, we want to see this again. We won it up anyway in the final early on. But this ball, it, I mean, it's a great ball across, to be fair. So, Agate, it looks like it should be Guadara's. But Zakankov goes instead. Guadara puts it across. Besaid admits it. I mean, he's just dived on the floor. It looked a bit splitty the first time. But it's a good finish at the back post from Verbic. Besaid potentially should have been the goal scorer. It was on a plate for him in the middle. But what a start that is. And I think we're just going to ask for a little bit of focus. I mean, now, if we can just hold on, we are the Ukrainian Cup championship. And I said this on the last episode, and I'll say it again, it's not been the most brilliant start to our KF save. We haven't pushed Shakhtar like I would have wanted us to. Um, we were poor in the Champions League. It's not been great, but if we can come away with one piece of silverware, we would have done all right. As Shevchenko makes a good save from a Bersadian shot. So this, I mean, it'll be an all right start, but we've got a lot to build on to get to the dizzy heights that we want to of winning the Champions League. Um, but I suppose you've got to start somewhere. And a Ukrainian Cup final win and the trophy would be, I mean, it'd be our first trophy, wouldn't it? So there we go. And I think now, with the starting 11 we've got, we've got a good base to build off of um, when it comes to future transfers and building this team to be strong in the Champions League. We're going to... Um, 
We're just going to drop the faith to some boys and get them out there a bit motivated. We've been okay. It's only one. This has been a common theme whilst I've been offline that we've been having some really good shots, lots on target, but we've not quite buried them. But Sadin, though, considering he's only been playing half the season, has got 13 goals. So, I mean, he's doing all right, isn't he? And then, look, there's a flare. You love to see it. It's Besaidin. There's Verbic again. Is that the winning goal? Half an hour to go. 2 0 up. We've looked the better team. And I think now that is going to be the Ukrainian Cup returning to Kiev for a 13th time. A great header from Besaidin. And Verbic is there to tap it in. I imagine now more flares will be going off in the ground because why not? We love the flares. You love to see it. And we have just got the better of Zoya on the day. It just shows, doesn't it? I mean, this is the third place team in the league behind Shakhtar and ourselves. And it just shows how much of a gulf there is between the two of us and the rest of the league. And I mean, almost at the moment, it shows how much of a gulf there is between Shakhtar and us as well. But Besaidin is on the ball. I mean, can he make it three? He deserves a goal. He's played quite well, but it's straight at Shevchenko in the goal as well. Look, I mean, that literally looks like they're just burning someone's head in the crowd. Right, Shefalev is going to come off. He's not having his best game. And Bialski can come on for him just to shore things up a little bit in the middle. No one's strong for fitness either. We've had a pretty good gap, to be fair, between the two games. So we should be all right. It's Guadara Besaidin. We said he deserved the goal, but he can't quite put it in the back of the net past Shevchenko. And there's only seven minutes to go. Verbit struggling for fitness. We'll get him off. We'll see a bit of Georgie. We like a bit of Georgie. Chaps really on this, on this team. And Agate is going to come off as well. We'll get Andreevsky on for him as they've gone invisible. I mean, how are we going to beat them now? They're invisible. Give us a chance, people. Right, Takax and Berda knock it around nicely. Sudorchuk to Agate. Just to let the players with heads. That's the other team. Uh, Chiatsvili, Berda. Bialski to Agate. Sudorchuk back to Agate. This is a well-worked move. If Sagankov can finish it off, it's a great save from Shevchenko, who's the only man who's remembered to wear his kit for the last 10 minutes, it would seem, on the, uh, on the Zoya side. But, I mean, there's, a, there's one last highlight. Bialski with the ball in. Andreevsky, oh wow, has he missed that. I mean, that's just embarrassing for the bloke. They've still got, like, what is going on? The other team are literally heads, arms and legs. Well, I say legs, you sort of see their knees, like this chap here. I'm not even concentrating, it's a gank of, I mean, who's this? Right, we won! Despite the funny graphics, we did win. There we come up, look for the trophy. We're going to be lifting it. It's a, I mean, as I said at the start, We've got at least a trophy out of this season. We haven't seen this much on this channel this year. Here we go then. I've passed it over. Look at look at my tracksuit, everybody, by the way. The trophy's being lifted. Dynamo Kiev are the winners of the Ukrainian Cup. One trophy in the back. It's not as big a trophy as we want to end up getting. But by God, is it a start. And next season, well, the aim, of course, for next season is to simply beat... Shakhtar Donetsk and hopefully win the league we hope to be better in the Champions League as well but that is all to come after what will probably be quite a busy pre-season and hopefully I will see you all for the next episode which will be the beginning of the season of season two as Dynamo Kiev manager. But I hope you have enjoyed today's episode and the Ukrainian Cup win. So please do drop a like down below if you have. Subscribe to the channel for more Football Manager videos. And as always, thank you all for coming along and watching.